Hello and welcome to the Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw Photo Paint uh, tutorial. Today we're looking at the Time Machine Photo Effects. If you've used Instagram, you know that they've got preset photo effects that you can apply to a picture that you've taken uh, as you're doing the upload process. You can select ones that enhance color, make it look, you know, black and white or sepia toning or you know any variety, and they've got a bunch of them. Well, Corel Draw has a select set of those as well. So we're going to take a look at this image that we've brought in, and uh, we're going to go to Effects, Camera, and jump down to Time Machine. And what this will do is load up a little toolbar that has a number of effects preset, and I'm going to try to move it a little bit out of the way here. Um, over here will work. And you can see the building is a little bit of an older building, so I want to play with, you know, making it look like it was a photo taken, you know, from a different era. And you'll notice that along here, they've thrown in some years in which these effects were popular or known for, that sort of thing. So the pioneer days, or they're talking about the 60s or whatever, they were sort of a known effect, known photo styles. And they've sort of tried to recreate that a little bit. And you'll notice that as I select these, it updates and gives you the effect. And it also gives you a couple of options. You can change the intensity, and that will affect the result. And then you can also affect if you want this edge, which is sort of the border. Uh, obviously, that can really change how it looks. If you look in this one, for example, with no border versus with the border, it gives you, you know, just, a, again, a different feel based on what you're after and each of them have a different amount and a different effect on the border itself so the edge may or may not be something that you want based on uh, the project that you're working on and then you can select through these and again it's a, a, a little bit based on you know uh, a variety of effects that you could apply manually but having them here makes it uh, quick and easy so if you've got a project that you're working on you're doing something for somebody you can quickly create something that's kind of neat um, and you know they they may not uh, know how you did it so quickly and uh, I recommend not telling them uh, this stuff is difficult and there's no point in uh, giving away uh, using a filter and making it seem so quick and easy thanks again for watching this quick tutorial on the Corel photo paint time machine photo effect 